What's up, y'all? It's part three here on my automatic to manual swap here on my 86 F-150. Uh, taking the AOD out, swapping in a four-speed. And uh, this is part three of the video series. If you want to catch what we did before this, uh, go check out parts one and two. They're on my channel. And uh, depending on when you're watching this video, I'm going to, when I get done with this whole series, I'm going to edit it all into one video. So go check out the channel and uh, you can watch that if that's out yet. But uh, anyways, we're installing this manual trans tunnel in here. We're going to cut out the automatic that has no hole in the floor so we can get our stick shift through the floor. And uh, this is kind of one thing I've been dreading doing in this uh, manual swap here is I got old vinyl floors in this truck that are original. They're in pretty decent shape, but I feel like when I start pulling them out and folding them back, they're gonna crack up and uh, get kind of messed up. So I'm gonna try my best and uh, not mess them up, fold them back real gently. But uh, anyways, it, the, other than that, it should be a pretty easy, easy ordeal. Just pull your carpet back. Uh, these trucks, from every one of them I've ever seen without carpet in them, the automatics have, you know, where the trans four-wheel drive trans tunnel would go. It's already like stamped into the sheet metal of the floor. So it gives you a really good idea of where you need to cut. Um, I'm gonna start pulling this carpet up. I'm gonna have to pull a couple of these trim panels out of there. That way we can make sure we pull that carpet up without ripping it. But other than that, it shouldn't be too hard. I think that's just gonna be the most difficult thing. Uh, really all you're gonna need for this is saws all some cut off wheels whatever your favorite cutting tool of choice uh, for sheet metal i'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll jump into it see how it goes so there's our manual trans tunnel cover you can see it gives you a little bit more room to put a manual transmission in there honestly this transmission that i'm swapping in here it's so small, I think we could just get away with cutting a hole in the floor, but I'm gonna do it right. And uh, put this trans tunnel in there. The best way to do this, and what we might end up having to do, depending on how everything goes, is pull this bench seat out of there. But I'm gonna try to do this without pulling the bench seat out. I'm gonna pull these plastic uh, door jam panels off right there. I'm gonna pull this panel off here and on that side and I think that carpet should fold back out of there we'll lay it up against the seat uh, getting it under the gas pedal might really be our only thing that's a little difficult and fingers crossed it doesn't crack up or tear when we fold it back I figured I'd throw this clip in here this is one of my favorite parts about working on old trucks is uh pulling these old plastic door seals off and digging through 30 40 50 years of old grime you never know what you'll find today i got a bunch of pennies and one nickel they were all from the 80s and older so i don't think these plastic trim pieces have ever been off this truck um if they have whoever Took them off, they were pulled the change out. But pretty cool. You never know what you'll find. One day I'm hoping I'll find a diamond ring or some gold or something, but a couple cents ain't bad. We'll put it into the piggy bank, put it towards the hot rod fun. But all right, carpet's up. Bad news, it did kind of tear in some spots when I was pulling it up up near that gas pedal and stuff. But the good news is floor pans are solid. Just a little bit of surface rust. Really the only thing that's rusted over there is that little underneath there. That's how you get to your cab mount bolts. That side's super solid. This side's even better. So I ain't gonna complain. As you can see, like I was saying, you have a pretty good 
template for where that trans tunnel cover mounts. So I'm gonna set that on top of there. Give me a good idea of where I wanna cut, how much I wanna cut out. But uh, yeah, I just looked on eBay. Carpet vinyl kit for these trucks is only like 150 to 200 bucks. So all in all, not so bad if I gotta replace the vinyl. Honestly, I probably should It'd make this truck look a little better. But uh, if I ain't got to, that's always better. But anyways, I'm gonna get that trans tunnel on there. Let's go ahead and set it on there. See what it looks like. So there you go. All right. success well that's a floor delete the old crappy AOD Let's see how I did I like it plenty of room still got the floor under here just for added strength you can always cut more you can never, well, I mean, you can weld in a new floor and replace what you cut out on accident, but uh, measure once, cut twice. <laughs> Just kidding. Measure twice, cut once is what I've been told. Or sometimes I like to measure 10 times, cut once. Or sometimes we just wing it like this. But I had a pretty good idea. I mean, all, all we needed was a lip. So you can screw this trans tunnel down. I made sure I left a decent lip and uh, we can always go back and cut more. But from the other videos I've seen the guys doing this, some of them cut a small hole, some of them cut this whole thing out. So we'll see, we'll play it by ear, but uh, I'm happy with this right here. We'll get uh, some sheet metal screws thrown in there. Lay the carpet back down, cut out uh, where that shifter boot or shifter comes through and where this shifter boot mounts and uh, put the carpet back under, all the trim back in and that's the job done. Not too bad. All right, in my defense, these are really good sheet metal screws. Next order of business, reinstalling the carpet. Let's see if we can do this one-handed. Now, I forgot to say this earlier. When you're pulling this carpet out, what I found was easiest to get it out from underneath them pedals was actually 
pull up slack in here. And then stuff it under there. Yeah. Rip pretty good around that gas pedal. There we go. Get it back over the little floor switch. Uh, it don't look horrible, but it ain't up to my standards. I think I'll order some vinyl floor for this, and that'll be another project on the list. But it'll do for now. I'm going to get all these plastic trim pieces back in, and uh, I might actually not cut that hole out just yet till I... I'm literally ready to stick that shifter through the floor. That way if I want to drive this truck, I ain't got a bunch of fumes coming through the floor on me. She's all buttoned up. Panels installed. Reinstalled, I should say. That crack definitely got bigger. And the one on the other side opened up more too, so... I think it's really inevitable if you're trying to save these vinyl floors. They probably just ain't gonna make it. Now they're so brittle after this many years. If you barely touch them, they were just ripping apart. So if it don't bother you, I mean, you could throw some floor mats in there and probably cover it up. If not, like I said, on the old jungle webs, eBay, and you can buy them straight from some carpet companies. Carpet kits about 150 to 200 bucks, carpet or vinyl, whatever you want to go with. But, uh, if you got factory carpet, if it's in really good shape still, you should have no problem pulling that back and you know, it's not gonna rip and crack like this stuff does. But I like vinyl floors. I'm a vinyl floor guy. They're easy to take care of. I live out here in the country with lots of sand and mud and dust. So it makes it really easy to clean this truck. But anyways, that was uh, actually easier than I expected. Um, well, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in to part three of this build series and uh, keeping up with me. I hope this video helps some of you guys if you've been wondering how to do, you know, automatic to manual uh, trans tunnel. But anyways, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned. Peace.